Monkey see, monkey do. What are you doing? I don't know what's going on there. Oh, and someone's peeking around there. Hey guys, it's Monday. So I am doing dishes, cleaning up from dinner, getting everyone to up to bed soon because I have some guests coming over and we're gonna do a Facebook Live um, talking all about holiday burnout and seasonal depression. So Amanda Muse and Corey from the Baby Gang and I think Dan's coming too. So that'll be fun. So that's a little later. But right now I'm kind of racing against the clock so I better get moving. Okay, the kids are in bed. I still need to get ready. Um, but look what we did. We made a little set here. Give yourself more credit, you did. Uh, okay, not. Mike says give myself credit. I made a set. Don't forget, I used to be an interior designer. So let me show you what I did. I had a lot of fun with this. So I made like a Christmas set. See, we got our candles here, battery powered candles. This little guy there. We even added some garland. And we're all ready. Now we just need our special guests on our show tonight. Okay, we just did our Facebook Live. It went really well. It went really, we were like, tell us when 10 minutes is up. It was an hour. It was yeah, really good. It was really fun. I look like I'm telling like, I know, stories. I was like, it was really good. <laughs> that was really, really good. It was really good. So I'll leave a link below so you guys watch it. It was all about holiday burnout and uh, seasonal depression. And guess what? We have a new idea for you guys. So these two men. Corey's husband and Mike, who each are dads of four with multiples, were sitting down testing our little set out, and then we were like this, they were chatting about being dads and stuff, and we no, were like, no. you need, dad show. they're going to do a, like a Facebook Live, or even maybe like a YouTube Live or something, dad show, that'd be so good. It'd be a series, I think. Series yeah, it'd good. be good, it'd be really good. Anyways, thanks ladies. It was fun. Yeah. fun. It's Tuesday, and me and Everly have discovered Sesame Street. They've never really been into Sesame Street, and I had all of the characters from when Holden and Bo were little, and I almost gave them away. I just brought them upstairs from the basement, and they're going crazy over them. Do you like them? Are you happy? Me and Everly have laryngitis. We've got a bit of a cough. You got Elmo. Who do you, who do you have? Just say, just say that fight. Oh, let's just say that. Okay, so I just plowed through tons of work. Work that I wasn't gonna do till tomorrow. But I'll show you. I need to do something else tomorrow. Something needs to be addressed. It's a big deal and it's causing some problems. I'm talking about Bo's room. She's like this kid hoarder. She keeps boxes and garbage and like she won't let anything go. And she really doesn't have a lot of places to store stuff. Like she does, but she, does, she only has the one box. We're really thinking that we're gonna completely overhaul her room. Maybe even get her a desk soon. Now I need to just dump her room. I've been having some behavioral problems with Bo. Not bad, but just, she's in limbo. She's stuck in like a limbo between a big kid and a baby. She sees Holden as being the big kid and the twins are the babies, like babyish toddlers. And she just doesn't, she's bored and I think she just kind of needs that nudge. So I think that, I, first of all, coming in this room, it, it's not a sanctuary. It creates anxiety for me. So I can't imagine her. So I think she needs a place where like, she can kind of like feel calmer in because this is not working right now. So I've worked my butt off today and I'm probably not done so that I can clear. Tomorrow's my last day with the twins in a full day and I think I need to dedicate it to her. And the calico critters are back again. This is why I put our toys on a rotation in the basement because as soon as I see them not playing with something, it goes down and something new goes up. So I just brought the plastic animals down and now they get the calico critters again. Right girls? What are you playing, Mia? There we go, I was looking for this. I need a bed. What are you girls doing? Monkey see, monkey do. What are you doing? I don't know what's going on there. Oh, and someone's peeking around there. Mia, where's your feather? Okay, show me how you blow it. Show me. 
Get I'll ready, big one. Oh, oh, oh. They've been pulling feathers out of the pillows. <laughs> Today, about, I don't know, lunch? After lunch, when I finished like tons yeah. of work, I felt so dizzy all of a sudden. This happened to me in the summer. Yeah, I forget coffee. which vlog it is. I'm but a little I Yes, I see. There's a vlog that I think I called like, I'm not pregnant, because it feels like I'm pregnant. But I'm not. Oh, I'm so dizzy. I feel like garbage. Like, I have such vertigo right now. I had this in the summer. I don't know if it was a viral thing, but I'm like counting the minutes till the kids go to bed, but they all need baths and showers today. <laughs> Hopefully Mike's not late. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday and it is 11.23. So, a few updates. I don't feel great. I have something. There's something just like not good, not feeling very well. I was really dizzy yesterday, like really dizzy. And then I, but I pushed through it and everything. And then I just don't feel great today. Just kind of like sick. Like I might have a bit of a bug or something. I don't know if it's like what I'm eating. But I wanted to give you like a whole 30 update. So I've been sticking with it. I'm on day 19. But I've decided to stop. I've decided today, day 19, is the day I'm going to be stopping. And I have not come to this decision lately at all. Um, but here's what's been happening with me. And here's what I've learned. I've learned that refined sugar and dairy are not good for me. Other things are not so bad, actually. I find I'm not too bad with other things, but those two um, are definitely two things that are bothering me. But here's the problem is, A, I have four kids that I'm making separate meals for. I have a husband I've been making separate meals for, and then myself, because he was like not into the whole whole 30 meals so I'm trying to like accommodate everybody and I've been doing it but the problem is because I have fructose issues like I have citrus issues I have fructose issues there's a can of any garlic I can barely have any onion like there's a lot of things I can't include um which I even tried at the beginning and was not good for my stomach um so I'm having like tons of roughage like vegetables and stuff um, not to get too graphic, but basically everything's going straight through me and that sucks. No real pain, but just right through me. And so I found myself having tons of almond butter and oil and avocado, like good fats, but a lot of it to try to combat this and balance everything out. And now I had lost a few pounds and now I think I've either plateaued or maybe gained some and that is not good and that is that's this is not the answer like I've, I've cut because I was still having a few tummy problems I cut my food down to like the same things or some similar things every day and I'm just like ready to be sick to my stomach over them and so it's time to stop. I'm not going to get into too many details about how I'm going to reintroduce stuff. I think I'm going to kind of figure things out on my own and I'm not going to go crazy. Like there's probably going to be some things I still definitely cut out for a while. But um, yeah, I'm officially stopping after 19 days. And 19 days has been pretty long and pretty good. But it is just in my heart, in my gut, for, my, for me physically and mentally, I know I'm done. I've always said this is not for everybody. And um, I will continue to say that because it's not for everybody it's it's extreme um but i'm glad i did it and i'm also glad that i can recognize when my body's trying to tell me something and it's trying to tell me something so i'm gonna listen to it i'm gonna go grab some groceries some for today and then tomorrow i think i'm gonna do a bigger shop like i'm just gonna do a really quick one today because i realize i have like nothing to eat um and mike's out for dinner tonight for work so i'm gonna figure that out I'm going to try to get my video out of and editing and then I'm purging Bo's room. Remember how I said that? So I'm going to definitely do that when I get back after lunch. That's the plan. And I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest today. Okay, I've been stalling long enough. Time to tackle this room. <sighs> okay, Bo's bedroom is clean. Check it out.
Okay, got a room done just in time for me to quickly drink a coffee because I'm dying to drink coffee and then I have to race over to school and get them. Okay, are you ready to see your room? Okay, let's go. What do you think? Is it clean? Do you think you can keep it clean? Look around a bit. Yeah, her monsters and cat. I'm gonna take like a little rest right now because I have been going nonstop. Time to have a little rest. Okay, so it is Thursday. I washed my hair, it's just drying. And me and Everly are home. They got kind of bad colds. They seem a little bit better now, but I think they just need a really good nap. So I'm gonna put them to bed earlier. And we're doing some potty training. Are you sitting on the potty with some undies? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everly's actually sitting on the big potty. She went. Did you go pee pee's in the potty? Yeah. yeah, she did. Okay, so I'm folding laundry. Well, these two are coloring. We're still working on the. Yeah, then don't use the broken ones. Give them a bunch of pens and markers, and they are in heaven. I don't think they're all broken, girls. Are you happy right now? I have both. Yeah. Oh, you're coloring with both? Whoa. Whoa. That's some crazy color. That's some crazy color. Oh. The measurement? Oh. I hate potty training. I am a mess. I am like. It is the worst. I, I thought I had remembered it. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't remember it properly. And times do. Oh, man. I've just been stuck in my house all morning. Like, just all I'm doing is potty training stuff and cleaning up pee and... Okay, we're about to go get the big kids. And Everly is officially wearing underwear like she is insisting. Mia has pull-ups on with underwear over top. But Everly is like, I'm done with diapers when I'm awake. So I've put a towel folded up in the stroller under her bum. Hopefully that works. We will see. It's Thursday evening and I'm supposed to be out on a date all glammed up with my hair done and my makeup done, but it wasn't in the cards for today. Um, Mia started throwing up. She threw up two times and that stunk. <laughs> Mike had to come home from work early. I basically had to keep Mia on me because she only wants me when she's sick. And um, yeah, so she perked up a bit before bed. I'm really hoping it doesn't spread and I'm really hoping that she doesn't get up sick anymore during the night, but I'm wiped. On a lighter note, I really mastered the potty, like just mastered it. She became very obsessed with wearing her underwear. We walked to and from the school and she, I put the towel under her and no accidents, no accidents. Like maybe one tiny one the rest of the day and peed constantly in the potty and was really excited about it. But a hard time getting a diaper back on her for bedtime, which for us always worked with the older kids for a long time. We're not ready for that right now. They're in cribs, so uh, it was so good. So I did have a parenting win today despite everything else. I'm really hoping that everyone's back to normal tomorrow because we have some big plans tomorrow and this weekend with our tree and having family over for like a pre-Christmas celebration. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. That means so much to all of us. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.